All right, as the president declares a state of emergency along the southern border, none has been declared for the U.S. territory of Puerto Rico over a year following the devastation left by Hurricane Maria. Puerto Rican recovery seems at a standstill. Joining us to discuss this, Mayor of Ponce, Puerto Rico, Maria Majita Melendez. Uh, Madam Mayor, thanks for being with us today. Um, first, how do you respond to the president calling a, a national emergency along the southern border, but never anything like that for Puerto Rico? Well, let me tell you this. Um, I believe in dialogue. I believe in negotiation. But we, the Puerto, Rica, we, Puerto Ricanos, I, I, I conscious that after one and a half year, the money that have been assigned to Puerto Rico, it, it haven't been disbursed. So he knows that we are American citizens, too, at the same time. So he has to take care of FEMA is over there over one and a half year. We have been knocking doors. We have been talking to congresswomen, congressmen yeah. at the same time, to universities, to uh, many places to see that, that it is important that the, assign, the money assigned by Congress yeah. have to get to Puerto Rico. So we are thankful for that, that he just mentioned this morning, that he is not going to take that money off from the Puerto Rican help. And okay. that's important. Uh, well, tell us about the, the progress, if any, has, has been made in Puerto Puerto Rico. Well, we, we are doing just business. Uh, every, everything is doing business. The central government has made reforms. We, the municipalities, the 78 municipalities, have created ordinances in favor of making incentive for invest money over there. But the reconstruction has yeah. been taking time because the money has been, as I said, assigned, but not, but not dispersed. dispersed. And that's the problem. Okay. And now FEMA, they just released an internal report. You brought them up just a moment ago. Uh, they said that they were, they admitted that they were ill-prepared for this disaster or as big of a disaster as it, as it became. How do you feel that they failed your people? Well, let me see. I have meetings with FEMA and my people uh, every, every week. Every and week? Every week. We go to FEMA, discuss all the plans, the reconstruction plans, that the money we have, uh, we use our own budget. The municipalities have their own budget. We have used our own budget. We have been also at the same time using the, the insurance money for our mm -hmm. properties of the municipality. But they didn't know enough. And we have told them what is the problem. We had been talking with Brock Long. He just resigned. Yes, yes. And he's worried about an investigation. We don't know. Right. We don't know. Right. So, he's got his own problems. So, uh, uh, and I think that we have a voice here in, in, in Congress. It's Jennifer Gonzalez is our uh, resident commissioner. The governor has been here. I, as mayor, has been more than seven times here at the same time. We mayors, and uh, that said, many, many congressmen and congresswomen have tell us, you have to come here at the beginning before Maria. Nobody knows, only 15% that we were American citizens. Wow. Now, 99% of the people Understand. and congressmen and congresswomen know that we are American citizens. We have five for United States. This is our mainland right. at the same time but this is an economical issue and at the same time a political issue so it's important that people know that we have contributed many times right. to the well-being of the people and we are elected for the well-being of doing things so you, as you're saying that the failure began before the hurricane yes ever happened. Sir. yes man yes and, and what about your thoughts on the governor of Puerto Rico uh, what about his handling of the situation well uh, he has made reforms just right now He's, uh, he's a Democrat at the same time, so he has been, he knows that the president is a Republican at the same time, and he's trying as a young, as a young governor at yeah. the same time, he has to hear, we have, we have a control board, oversight control board, fiscal oversight control board, just right now, imposed by Congress. So uh, we have been uh, in discussion with him at the same time that they haven't heard uh, the, the municipalities, and we are the first responder after, after Maria. We are the ones who also contribute in taxes and money to the state government. He's working, but the control board, the people of FEMA, the president has to hear also at the same time all the mayors. So it sounds like still a very long road to it's go. It's a very long road. For example, I had talked with Michel Andro, who was the, pre, uh, the, uh, the mayor of uh, until May, uh, past May uh, uh, of New Orleans. He told me hmm. he had been taking 13 years to reconstruct uh, New Orleans wow. after Katrina. And they have approved them 13 supplemental aid. 
we have only maybe two or three supplemental A assigned, but not dispersed. All right, so we need to continue to put keep this topic on the news so that way people understand that Puerto Rico is still suffering a year and a half later, a long ways to go, as we said. All, all right, Madam Mayor, uh, Mayor uh, Majita Melendez, thank you so much for coming in today and sharing with us what's happening, uh, not only in Ponce, but in Puerto Rico. We're doing business, and we will continue working. We Puerto Ricanos fight for our rights, and we will get it. Still, thank a, you. still a beautiful island. Thank you very much. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.